very good morning and welcome to aicog tv interview i am pleased to have with me the senior most very well known professor dr geeta ganguly she is a president at rn ganguly foundation in kolkata and she is a senior consultant at irm hospital kolkata she is a ex professor and head from the rg kukar medical college thank you very much ma'am for accepting our invite to be here on 60th aicog tv interview and we are going to have the key insights from ma'am on the topic of obesity and female reproductive tract so ma'am let me begin with the Thank first you. question how obesity impairs the fertility both in natural conception as well as in art procedures what's your view on that you know uh, the exact mechanism is still uncertain but there is many proposed uh, theories one is that uh, that obesity uh, impairs the hbo axis hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis and then disturb the uh, cumulative effect of hormones another important thing is the leptin that is uh, produced by the obesity uh, adipose tissue produced and that leptin impairs both the natural and assisted reproduction i think uh, there are many other uh, thing is there but exact this thing is not mm. still so exact so mechanism by which the obesity is affects the uh, infertility uncertain. is so you have to do more is, uh, uh, research for that so what are the uh, other effects of uh, obesity on the fertility apart from leptin i mean uh, oocyte quality does it yes. affect the oocyte quality is the ovulation is disturbed yes. then endometrial preparation is disturbed <laughs> oocyte uh, follicular genesis is disturbed right yeah. you see so how do we manage this uh, issue of obesity and fertility ma'am yes uh, that means we have to prevent obesity first right. and uh, then uh, if it is really obese then we have to do the weight reduction and you know even 5 to 10% weight reduction give good result mm. this is a good message that we have to give everybody and uh, why you have to give uh, prevention prevention is better than cure to cure obesity is very imp- is very difficult i think you in the, today's era it's very very important because we are all used to that junk food and especially yes. our young and generation you see young generation what's happen both parents are uh, working so what they do they does uh, give money to the uh, youngster and they go to the have fast food yeah. another important thing is that uh, that uh, academic load the parents give stress be do very good in academic they don't so the uh, children they don't get any time for exercise and when they come for relaxation they sit in front of the tv some fast food in front of them both the mother and parents and them are having that is sedentary lifestyle is very important So, so i think we all are uh, facing this issue with uh, kids around that uh, they are eating lot of junk food they are not exercising not, they are yes. uh, most of the time they are um, playing on the mobile, mobile. applications or yes. on the television and that is the biggest issue that uh, we oversee and in that case the prevention is only the op- uh, the option i guess and for that and, uh, prevention yeah. of the obesity a lot has to be done and there you know i am obese <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, because, but I was not very much obese before, okay. and now I'm obese because I don't care now. It should not be, you know. Right, right. And the parents should be the uh, role model for the children. Children, you know. And uh, so we so all should together start our not yes. eating that junk food and start walking a little bit yes. from our busier schedule, yes, and yes, then yes. our kids will follow us. Yes, that's the so very So that's the key thing. message you would like to yes. give to our audience. Yes. and that this thing you see now it is polycystic ovarian syndrome mm. is so important you know in uh, obesity in the long back if you remember uh, 1935 obesity was a uh, this thing is a criteria for now it is it's not a criteria but still obesity has got a good impact on, on polycystic, polycystic ovary syndrome ovarian. and uh, obesity is present to more or less 50% and in some center it is more than 70% mm. so it is becoming and obesity is becoming a worldwide epidemic right mm. 
you know, today it is two th um, in, in 2025, this is going to be double. Double. Yeah. And that's why I, my message, the public awareness is very important. Unless public are aware, nothing can be done. No uh, program can be successful. So public awareness, we should go to the school, college, and also in public uh, meeting for awareness of this problem. It is, you see, not only the reproduction, but general health, obesity impairs the general health also. So public, in, uh, in, uh, public awareness is very important for prevention of this thing. And the, and the food, what we have to take is very important because if we have to uh, curtail, uh, we have to do this uh, obesity uh, reduction, food curtail and exercise is very important. Lifestyle management is very, very important. We cannot do anything without that. So if you can prevent this thing, it's better. Thank you very much, ma'am, for sharing those very important views on the obesity and the fertility aspect. We thank you for your precious time. Thank you.